Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to introduce you to kinematics within Top Solid 7. We're going to use the kinematics to test the mechanical motion of our assembly. Finally, we are going to show you the kinematics at work in a complex assembly. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up our assembly. So, what we're going to do is we're going to basically apply some uh, kinematic scenarios in here to test the mechanics of our little crankshaft and piston. So the first thing that we want to do is we're going to switch over to the mechanism tab and we're going to start by defining a new configuration. Now the idea here is I'd like to start my scenario at a specific spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create, actually I'm going to go ahead and turn on my axes, I'm going to go ahead and create an orientation between this and this. And basically what that's going to do is that's going to go ahead and lock our piston in its maximum stroke position. From there I'm going to go into my Entities Manager, go to Configuration number 2 here, I'm going to hit F2 on my keyboard, and I'm just going to call this Maximum Stroke. From here, I'm going to go ahead and define a joint driving task, but before I do that, I want to go back and just review the joints that I had created in a previous video about building assemblies. And these joints represent how this element can move. So I want to use this revolution joint here, and I'm just going to rename it real quick to call it motor, so it's easier to find. And I'm going to create a kinematics driving task with this. So the first task is going to be called forward. I'm going to use my motor joint and add it. And I'm going to say it's going to last for three seconds, and I want to go five revolutions in those three seconds. From there, I'll just hit OK. I'm going to create just one more task. This will be backward. And again, use my motor, add a joint. This will be for another three seconds, and this time it will be for minus five revolutions. Now, I could have just created the forward and back in one task, but what I'm showing you here is you can actually define multiple different configurations and apply it to the same kinematic scenario. So with that, let's go ahead and define our scenario. And this is going to be called forward and back. So let's go find our scenarios. So here's our scenario. Here's our task. And this is another beautiful example of the Entities Manager. You can see everything that I'm creating is automatically being managed for me. If we want a little bit more space here to see, we can just drag that up. So what I want to do is I want to take my forward motion, drop it onto the scenario, and my backward task and drop it on the scenario. And like that, now our task has scenarios applied to them. From here, I'm just going to make a slight edit, because I don't want to actually start right away. I want to start after maybe two seconds. So I'm also going to go to this one, edit this, and not start this one until after five seconds. So it gives my first one time to finish. And now from there, we're going to go ahead and create our kinematic simulation. So we're going to use my maximum stroke configuration. We're going to apply the forward and back. We'll hit OK. And now we're just going to simply regenerate. And like that now, and actually I'll go down to my axes and turn that off for the moment. And like that, we can go ahead and watch the kinematic scenario now. So we'll go here, we'll hit play, and there's a slight two second delay because that's what was programmed. And now you can see my sample is running. Now that maybe ran too fast, maybe we want to slow it down. So I'm going to slow it down by a factor of five. We'll rewind it. So now it's running a little slower. We're almost at two seconds. Remember, there's that two-second delay. And now it's going to start up slowly. And by the way, as it's going, I'm using my space ball here. As it's going, you can rotate, pan, zoom, do with it what you want. Great. So now from here, maybe we want to run another little test. Maybe I'd like to see how close my cylinder head comes to maybe a plane that's intersecting my crankshaft at the bottom. So to do that, I'm going to do a distance measurement. And that distance measurement is going to be between my piston and my ground group. It's going to be a measurement from a point. The geometry is going to be the center of this here down to my standard X Z plane. So now we have a measurement in here. I'm just going to quickly change the attributes of the measurement because black is boring. And I'm going to make it red. And now what I want to do is I want to drop my distance measurement onto my simulation. Like that, I'm going to recalculate. And now we're going to run a little graph that Topsology has generated for us. 
And basically with this graph, we can find out where the maximum stroke hits at what time on both sides of the stroke. This is just a simple little sample, and this is standard in Top Solid 7 Professional. These are some of the other things you can measure. You can do an angle measurement, velocity measurement, angular velocity, acceleration measurement, so forth and so on. But with Top Solid 7, you can really do some real hardcore engineering easily. Let's maybe look at a more hardcore example. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go open up another sample. So here I'm going to open another project. And like that, I'm going to go grab my main motor assembly. And zoom out. Let's maybe make this a little smaller. So this is a little V8 motor assembly that was done in Top Solid 7. And as you can see, it's a complete assembly, right? Now let's maybe take a quick look. Let's zoom up inside here a little bit. As you can see, you can see your cylinder heads in there. You can see your crankshaft. You can see your cams. Yeah, maybe you can't see your cams, but let's zoom up so you can see the cams. So here's the cams underneath. Let's maybe run a kinematic scenario on this once, see what happens. So here, we're just going to go to Mechanism. We'll hit play. I'm going to hit play here. And like that, you can see everything turning. Now I still have my slowing factor on here, so maybe I'll rewind this, speed it up just a little bit. And now you can see everything work working in the V8 engine. If I zoom up, let's maybe rotate the view a little bit. There you can see the cams firing. Let's maybe make this view a little bit more interesting. Let's go and make a cut. I'm going to make a cut off of this face here. Zoom up a little bit. Oop, nope, we want it going this way, and I want to grab the other arrow and dynamically pull it back till we get into one of the cams. Yeah, that's probably good right there. We'll say that's good right there. I'm going to say OK. So now we have our dynamic section. What happens if we go and play our kinematic scenario now? So now you can really get a good idea of how everything is working in here. You can see the cylinder going up and down. You can see your cams firing. And again, it's just a simple sample of kinematics inside of Top Solid 7.